Okay, so we're going to have a look now when you've been given the sketch and you need to say what the equation was from the graph. Now, various people might recommend you to do this in different ways, um, but I think the way I'm about to show you is the best way of doing this. Um, it's just the most straightforward way, and I think it will work for all other kinds of ones that you might see as well. So I'm going to have a look at trying to come up with the equation of this quadratic. And we know that quadratics are always in this form that we've got here. The way I perhaps wouldn't recommend doing is saying, oh, well, I know the roots are two and three. So I could probably say it's x plus three and x minus two equals zero, because that doesn't always work with this intercept that we've got here. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm just going to indicate the different bits on the graph that we know the coordinates of. So we know this coordinate here, which is two, zero. We know this coordinate here, which is 0, minus 12, and we know this coordinate here, which is minus 3, 0. So what we've got here is 2, 0, minus 3, 0, and 0, minus 12. In other words, this first one means if x is equal to 2, y is equal to 0. If x is equal to minus 3, y is equal to 0. And if x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 12. So I'm just going to use these things and I'm going to substitute them into y equals ax squared plus bx plus c to just find out if I can see what a, b and c are. So I'm going to do this first one to begin with. So I'm going to say if we have that x equals 2 and y equals 0, we would get 0 equals 2 squared is 4, so we get 4a. b times 2 is just going to be 2b plus c. Then I'm going to have a look at the next one, which is if x is minus 3, y is 0. So I will have 0 equals, well, minus 3 squared is 9, so it's going to be 9a minus 3b plus c. And my last one, if x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 12. So minus 12 equals 0 plus 0 plus c. OK, good. So now I know that C is equal to minus 12. So I'm going to take number one and number two, and I'm going to reuse them. So that is 4A plus 2B minus 12 equals zero. And I've also got that 9A minus 3B minus 12 equals zero. So 4A plus 2B equals 12 and 9A minus 3B is equal to 12. So you can see what I've got here, simultaneous equations. I would recommend going to your calculator, doing the simultaneous equation solver, and just doing it nice and quick. So let me just quickly do that in here. Simultaneous two unknowns, 4a2b equals 12, 9a minus 3b equals 12. So we come up with that a is equal to 2, and b is equal to 2, and c is equal to minus 12. So the quadratic is going to be 2x squared plus 2x minus 12. Now, there are many, many other ways of doing this. This is just the way that I would recommend doing this because I think it will be quickest. Let's just double check that's right on Desmos. So that's 2x squared plus 2x minus 12. 2x squared plus 2x minus 12. OK, let's see if this is correct. So we said we wanted it to be crossing at 2 and minus 3. And hmm, did I get the negative in the right place? Why has it got minus 12 point? Oh, because it wanted it to cross at 12. Silly me. So we have got the right ones. We've got 2, we've got 2, minus 3, and minus 12. So this is my preferred method. Other people may like to do this in different ways, but this is my preferred method. You should do this if you can't figure it. So determine the equation of this quadratic graph in the form blah, blah, blah again. Um, so this one, it just says where a, b and c are integers. OK, well, let's see what happens. Um, we've only got a couple of coordinates this time. So I've got x is 3.5 and y is 0. And we have x is minus 1 and y is 0. So when x equals minus 1, y equals 0. So we get 0 equals 
a minus b plus c when x equals 3.5 y equals 0 so we get 0 equals 3.5 squared which is 49 over 4 a plus 3.5 b which is 7 over 2 b plus c so we just need to find out what a, b, and c are, but we want a, b, and c to be integers. Now, you can also go to your simultaneous equation solver here. This time you've got three unknowns, so I'm going to say a is 1, b is minus 1, c is 1, and is equal to 0. We've then got 49 over 4, 7 over 2, 1, and 0. So it says there are infinitely many solutions. So the solutions here, we have the a, it says is equal to minus 2 over 7z, and it says that c is equal to z. b is 5 over 7z, and I want it to be integers. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to let z equal 7, because that should get rid of all of these things here. So if z is equal to 7, this is just from my simultaneous equation solver that I've got here. So if z is equal to 7, c is equal to 7, a is equal to minus 2 over 7 times 7, which is minus 2, and b is equal to 5 over 7 times 7, which is just 5. So we think that the quadratic is just going to be minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 7. That's minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 7. Minus 2x squared. Oh dear. And we have the roots at 3.5 and minus 1. Now, I guess we could have done this in a different way. This is perhaps a, a slightly tricky way of doing this. We could have just said to ourselves, well, if the roots are minus 1 and 0, I know that the brackets should be x plus 1 and then x minus 3.5. And when I expand these brackets, I would get x squared minus 2.5x minus 3.5. But it wanted them all to be integers. So it would still have the roots in the same place if I doubled everything, if I put a 2 at the beginning. So it's 2x squared minus 5x. Um, hang on a sec. Minus 7. Yeah, so it's the same thing, apart from we know it actually had to have a negative at the beginning because it's upside down. So my mistake, let me just quickly write that out again. It would have been a negative x plus 1 to get the correct shape, and x minus 3.5. So that becomes minus x squared minus 2.5x minus 3.5. But that doesn't have integers. So if I doubled everything, it would have been minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 7. I don't know. I kind of think if we can use this method a bit more, it will be more useful in the future. So we're going to try one more, and we're going to use the the first method I did. So we've got three coordinates, that is 3, 0, 0, 10, and minus 3, 0. And we know it's y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So I'm going to start off by doing the 0, 10. When x equals 0, y equals 10. So y equals so 10, which is y, equals c. OK, now we're going to say when x equals 3, y equals 0. So 0 equals 9a plus 3b plus 10. In other words, 9a plus 3b equals 10. And when x equals minus 3, y equals 0. So 0 equals 9a, because minus 3 squared is, is 9, minus 3b plus 10. So minus 10 equals 9a minus 3b. And then what I'm going to do is simultaneous equations on my calculator with these ones. So it's 9a, 3b minus 10, 9a minus 3b minus 10. And we come up with that a is equal to minus 10 over 9, and b is equal to 0. 
tenths, the equation is y equals minus 10 over 9 x squared plus 0x plus 10. So it's minus 10 over 9x squared plus 10. Minus 10 over 9 x squared plus 10. So it crosses at 10, 3, and minus 3. So I like this method. Um, I think other people might try and do it in a different kind of way, but I actually like this idea of substitution and doing simultaneous equations. So you guys should have a go now at finishing off exercise 2F.